Hey, what's going on my fellow collectors? Welcome back to another video. Very excited for this one. I finally got my NECA 1990 Tim Curry Stephen King's It figure. And I have my special guest Delilah joining me. Hi. So she's gonna help me out on this review because we were both excited for this figure. Now the packaging, like NECA usually does, they use the kind of movie screen. So that's pretty cool. Just like the, we actually went out and got this movie just to watch it again before we you know, reviewed the figure. So it was cool watching this movie. It is a little bit on the campy side, kind of, um, just because it's an older movie. I don't think, the I got a little bored with it, um, but it was still cool to watch it, you know, after not seeing it in so many years. And this was only like five bucks, I think at, where did we get this at? FYE. Oh, we got an FYE? Yeah. yeah, I think it was only like five bucks for the movie, so pretty cool but the packaging uh, you know has that same theme has the it movie it's kind of big much bigger than your normal uh, ultimate releases but uh, we do have the top has the same thing the bottom here's all the awesome people over at NECA that were uh, responsible for making the figure you got the it NECA real toys all that this side again same thing then on the back of the packaging, we do have the same read-up, which is more or less just going over the movie Seven Friends and Gaines in a struggle with a demon they first encountered 30 years earlier in their main hometown. Bunch of pictures showing off all the heads. Then you do have this flap, which opens up. You got an image of the figure. Uh, this backdrop is included behind here. And then, of course, we have the figure in the bubble. So that is the packaging. We are going to pop this open, take a look at the figure, and compare it to the more recent 2018 it NECA figure. Yeah. So let's do Okay, so this is everything that we get out of packaging with this 1990 Pennywise figure. So we do get a load of accessories, which is awesome because I feel like we were a little bit shortchanged with the 2018 it figure as far as neck is ultimate so i am glad that we got a bunch of accessories um of course here is the backdrop that you can slide out of the back of the box so this is pretty cool you know if you want to like take pictures or whatever so we do get that uh we do get a bunch of balloons which i feel like we should have got with the first release you know we should have got a bunch of balloons but they're the same exact thing they're basically just a plastic uh different colored multicolored. and we have the bendy wire for all of the strings and everything like that so we do get how many balloons we get there boogs uh seven seven balloons wait Seven balloons. Yeah, seven balloons. So we get seven balloons. We do get this pretty neat little actual paper boat. And this is actually paper and it is folded up, so that's pretty cool. We can actually use paper? Yep. Oh, we get, that's cool. We get his little noisemaker thing here. And this is just kind of done like with a kind of brown paint. A little bit of sculpting detail in there. We do get two of his demonic uh, monster hands. So these are done nice. Nice detail on there, nice paint. So those are pretty cool. And we have his regular hands. Yep, yeah, we have one. That looks like a balloon holding hand. It does look like a balloon. But how is he going to fit all those balloons? He just kind of messed with it. He does come with a pointing finger. And they're all stuck. And then he does come with a, uh, another uh, balloon. Oh, here's like, here's just for one balloon. If you just want to have him holding one balloon, because he does have the little hole in there, and you can just kind of you know, squeeze that down in there. It is a little bit loose, so you might have to like, you know, kind of wrap the bendy wire around to get it to stay, but that is nice. He does come with four different head sculpts, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, now I gotta say, honestly, I don't really like any of the head sculpts. I don't know what it is. I don't know if I, now now the sculpt looks great. It's like, just like how always. it looks. It's just yeah. I, I guess it's just the paint. Like this one in particular. So here's one of the head sculpts that we get. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I just it's I the don't eyes, like this. Probably like look at the eyes. Yeah, the eyes just look weird. I did that. Now the <laughs> mouth looks great. The mouth looks good. The hair and, looks good. The sculpt looks good. But the eyebrows and the. And like, look at the nose, it's like dripping. Yeah, I mean that could just be a, a, a paint issue, but great sculpt on the hair, great sculpt on the face. I mean, yeah, it, you know, it definitely looks like uh, like the actor, but um, I don't know, just I don't really care for this one. This one is a little bit better eyes wise, but still, I don't know. I'm just not, not, not a huge fan. This uh, one looked I, like that he was tanning and then 
but he was on this side the whole day. Yeah, th this is probably my favorite one, honestly. This is probably my favorite one. This has a pretty cool little paint job. Very neat. And then uh, the head that comes on the figure out of packaging is this one. He's kind of like frowning. And again, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it is. A little bit disappointing in the in the head sculpts. Now, as far as the figure itself, I gotta say the initial bummer is he he is very hard to stand. And again, I'm having that issue where I have one longer leg than the other, and you can see you can see how far up this leg is and how far the cuff is. So he just he, he's really tough to stand. I had to use a, a um, neck stand to get him to stand up. But I mean, going over the the look of them. You know, it, it, it looks good. The vest looks really nice. They did a really great job on this vest part here. Very, very cool. He kind of has this big diaper thing going on in the back, which is a little <laughs> bit unfortunate. Um, you, look, you, you can see how long this peg is compared to this peg, showing get, that that, get up there. that leg is bigger. Get. Yeah, maybe, the, maybe, maybe this isn't pushed in all the way. <clears throat> how about you take this one out a little bit too? Yeah, I don't want to go breaking anything, sweetie. These these kind of are known to have some, uh, you know, breaking issues. I don't like but, the whole figure. Um, you don't like it? Because I just don't like in the movie. He has such like dark things. This one's like so bright, like a regular clown. But I don't really like it. Yeah, it kind of has that. Because well, it's too bright. I, I don't well, like well, it. Well, I think the 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 colors are correct. It's just you know with the movie they might have had a little darker settings for everything, which made it look that. But this does kind of remind me of Bozo the Clown, which you True. you don't remember. You remember Bozo? That was on Bozo? when that was on when Daddy was your age. Bozo the Clown. It was some like game show. Oh, I think but, I know um, what you mean because I just put in clown and then I. I saw this guy named Bozo the Clown. I'm like, what is this? I look but, um, at the picture. But nice, nice paint here. Nice, you know, nice sculpting on all the, um, you know, outfit parts. I like, we got pretty clean paint going here on the sleeves. Again, the vest is great. We have his little, you know, fluffy things here. Um, nice kind of shading and different, you know, paints all throughout the pants. It's not just yellow. There's like little hints of kind of orange in there and everything. So, I mean, overall, it's not too bad. It's going to look good up on your horror shelf. Um, I will say uh, popping the hands out is pretty easy. It's just a peg, so if you want to put his monster hands in there, which is probably how I'm going to have him displayed. I think I'm going to have him displayed with these hands and then that one like acid face. But um, so that, swapping the hands out is easy. Swapping the heads out is another story, though. Pain in the butt to get these off. You, you know, you definitely have to use heat to swap on the heads. Um, now, as far as articulation, uh, you do get you know full move, full swivel of the head, so that you know turns. You get a little bit of down, a little bit of up. The arms hinge out, so you get about that much in the hinge. You do have a double joint here at the elbow, very very tight, and it's like scary. I don't want to go bending and breaking anything, but you do get two points, so you get pretty nice movement with that elbow joint. Uh, we do have an uh, upper diaphragm, so you got swivel, you got a little back, little forward, little side to side, but mainly just swivel. For the legs, you do get forward and back. This is like a kind of softer, you know, vinyl-y type feel, rubbery type feel. So he kicks forward about that much, kicks back about that much. You do have a thigh swivel in there, even though mine's really tight, but there is a swivel. Uh, the knees, again, very, very tight joint. You get about a single knee, gives them about 90 degrees. Uh, that does rotate as well and then for the feet you do have full rotation you get a little bit forward a little bit back and you don't really get any pivot whatsoever it's it's really just a peg i don't know if you can see up in there but it's really just a peg and again you know the one leg is way way bigger than the other one so now this this joint right here uh the one that's pulled down a little bit I mean, that is so tight that I'm afraid to bend that because I feel like that's going to break. But overall, I mean, you get decent articulation with it. It seems like a little bit dated, but I mean, it's still cool. Of course, the arms does go all the way around. There is no bicep swivel, but you do get swivel here and here. So you get a uh, swivel at the top there and at the bottom. And of course, the hands do swivel and they do hinge up and down, mm -hmm. if I didn't say that. Yep. 
So, I mean, you're going to be able to get him in some pretty cool poses. Uh, as far as the balloon holding hands, let's see. Can we fit all of these balloons in here? Let's see if we can fit let's all try seven to fit balloons. All seven on there. Now, there is one specific hand that I think is made for that, and that's the one that has the bigger kind of grappling hole in it. Uh, we're missing one more. We're missing one more. All right, sweet. Here, give them to me, Pumpkin Pie. I'm trying to twist them. Oh, I see what you're doing. You're trying to twist them all together. That's yeah. a good idea. Actually, I don't know. It, that seems like that's going to be really, really big trying to get all those in there. I mean, there's got to be a way to do it, okay, but we're, we're going to try. try. Let me try. Let me try. Pumpkin pie, hold on, pumpkin pie, hold on, pumpkin pie. We'll get it. I think it. he can probably fit all those balloons in him. Yeah, you gotta be able to. There we go. Oh, shoot. Ooh. Whoops, that one kind of popped out there. That one can get out, doesn't it? So, yeah, he can hold on to all of them. It will take some finagling and some messing around to get it to look right, but. And it's gonna take 10 years to get all those twists out. But he will, he will hold on to them. Let's see if we can pop this hand out. Boop. Pop this hand in. all them yeah so i mean yeah again it's going to take some finagling you might want to do the same but that's just to show that it, it, it is possible yeah let's take them out it is possible so yeah all right let's go over some comparisons let me put him back on the stand so remember that he is on a stand but i have to have him on a stand or he's just not going to stand for me you can see he kind of wants to lean off to the right because of that foot now, uh, measuring this guy out, Deep. it looks like to the top of his head, he's a little over six and a half inches tall. Mm. All right, let's get our comparisons. Deep. I want to do this one first because it looks the best. Okay. So here he is next to the GameStop exclusive Pennywise. That I love. And you can see that he is taller because even standing on the base, he's a little bit taller than this old one. Again, I got this weird wonky leg with this figure. But here he is with the GameStop exclusive. Here he is with the original release Pennywise. So you can see, you know, they look all right together. Um, here he is next to a Jason. NECA Jason figure. From Friday the 13th. And then here he is next to a standard kind of Marvel Legends. This is a Cyclops. So again, it just gives you a little bit of size comparisons. Now, I think at the end of the day, you know, it's still a cool piece. I think it's going to look good up on your horror shelf. You do feel like you're getting a lot more accessories with this guy than you did with the original one. Um, again, I don't know if, if this is everybody's figure, but watch out for that leg issue. Because that, that's a bummer. Because he just will not stand whatsoever uh, without putting him on a stand. And even with the stand, I'm still having issues getting him to stand straight up. But uh, that is unfortunate that that one leg is all messed up. But again, we do get some pretty cool accessories with this guy. We get a loads of different options. We get a bunch of different balloons. So it's going to be cool to, you know, kind of pose him up and have him with all the different head sculpts and everything. Even though I got to say I'm not too fond of really any of the head sculpts. This one's probably my favorite. I feel like the other ones just really don't capture you know the, uh, that that particular it to its full potential even though i think the sculpt is there it must just be the paint but yeah guys that was a look at the neca real toys 1990 stephen king's it pennywise figure from that classic movie very cool box very cool accessories mm -hmm. Pretty dated as far as uh, the articulation, even though there is some cool points in it. He does kind of have a little bit of that, you know, poofiness going on in him. Um, but I think overall, it's still a cool figure. You know, I mean, for the price point, at least you're getting a lot more accessories. Uh, very cool. So, yeah, what do you think? Do you like it? Mm, kind of. Kind of, yeah. I just don't like the figure and the head sculpts. Uh, yeah, you like you like this Pennywise a lot better. I don't like you? this Pennywise more. <laughs> yeah, that is that that, yeah, that, that is a cool Pennywise figure. But yeah, guys, that was a um, that was a look at the figure. Uh, thank you so much for watching. As always, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys on the next figure review. Take care.